to look at this hookiness oh man yeah, there it is the usual suspects let me get my flashlight Let's get into this thing. We'll see how it's doing. Okay, so I've unplugged the unit. And you'll see we got a static charge of 35. So there's still some 134 in there. So I'm gonna pump it up with nitrogen and then we'll get the leak detector out. And we'll check that evaporator section. That's usually where they leak. So I just go ahead and take the pressure up with nitrogen on top of what gas was left in there. Then we'll go get the leak detector and we'll do some leak checking. I got my H10 PM out. CFC, HCFC, HFC. Oh. Get it all tuned in. I'm running it on manual, small leak. There we go. There's your leaker. Coil's a leaker for sure. And I want to show you guys this real quick. There's a guy who did a video that says these leak detectors won't pick up the HFCs. Have has barely any 134A in it. And a bunch of nitrogen. And he, as you can see, it's picking up a really small leak. Like nothing. Now in his video, he's using this stuff from Yellow Jacket as a leak reference. And let me show you this real quick. So, yeah, this stuff here, the H10 is not made to pick up some test chemical for a yellow jacket. But it'll pick up microscopic amounts of R134A that's mixed with nitrogen. As you can see. See it speeding up? Slowing down. There it goes. That's real world. Real world 134A with a bunch of nitrogen. Whatever that crap is, nah, it doesn't like it. Still a superior leak detector. Don't be fooled. Here's the here's the SLR8. is a lot more sensitive real world. My, that's my two bits. So that's the usual suspects. Get your coil low on charge. Get the coil cleaned up. Get them a price for a new evaporator coil. And I thought I'd show you guys that. Make up table shuffle. Okay, so the next door neighbor 
they were getting water inside of it on the newer one and look the elbows get plugged the little plastic elbow they put on there that drain hose goes up to the bottom of the drain pan that's the sealer I just pulled the whole thing out and then you'll see they just get plugged mmm nice out, and then that comes out that right there comes out of right here and get it all cleaned out and then you won't get any more water inside the box it'll be able to drain out now through the condensate okay so that's it for that one um thanks for watching like and subscribe